Hi everybody, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. Hope everybody's well. So I just wanted to give you an update regarding the Enter project, which is also known as the NFT Art Finance project, because there's been quite a few changes recently, including the CEO stepping down. So let's get started. So yeah, the CEO Licky has stepped down as the CEO. Now this project has been going on for six months now, and um, there's a new CEO who did a Ask Me Anything session. Um, this week. He described that there's some restructuring going on in terms of roles within the company and also on the roadmap. There have been over 100,000 NFTs sold on this project in terms of enter.art and enter.audio, which is fantastic to hear. And um, it's basically made them realise that they're learning all the time since day one. So they do things very differently now in terms of how they did at the beginning. This is because they have a lot more user feedback and data to go on and more experience. Some of the deadlines on the roadmap have actually been taken away um, to reduce the amount of stress on the team and so that they can be more flexible about the delivery. Everything, however, is still on the roadmap as it currently stands. They also still have the same vision as they originally did. There were a few questions whether there was going to be a version 2 of the token, NFT Art Finance. Um, this has been rejected. This is not going to happen at the moment. So they're still using the original token. In terms of payment gateways, this is something that I'm personally quite excited about because it will allow fiat currency to be used on the Enter platforms. So they're currently working with third parties to actually make that happen at the moment that is going to be around the corner they hope to do this themselves i know this was the, what they said originally as well that they wanted to do their own uh, payment gateway but this is something that they will be using multiple third parties for and they're currently waiting on those third parties to complete their work so that they can then put that on the platforms this is also the same for farming and pooling the token coin so again they're working with third party auto shark um which is good news but again, in the future, they want to bring this by themselves. But for now, they realize that they have to use third parties to do that. They are preparing for scale on the platforms because they want to introduce specific marketing and they want to bring more popular artists on board, whether that's for audio or for the art platforms. And they want it to be more efficient for onboarding users. They want to make it easier for them in terms of the process and um, they're going to be recruiting specialists to actually help with this. Telegram was something that they originally used to begin with before the Discord channel, and they actually replaced Discord with Telegram because it seemed more logical. But what they've recently realized is that Telegram is very good at interacting with people, and um, there's going to be a lot of engagement on their reactivated Telegram going forwards. There are going to be enter events, particularly now that COVID is, well, I don't want to say under control, but it's better than it was. And they will be introducing new team members to specifically deal with um, enter events, such as festivals and things. Their company is going to be onboarding more popular artists going forward. Now, this will bring a lot more awareness to the platforms. Um, I found this myself. It's a very small niche of people. You know, the NFT space is absolutely huge right now. So it makes sense that the company wants to do that. It was suggested whether Enter.Art has stopped being worked on in terms of being developed because of the Enter.Audio platform and future platforms going forward. And that certainly isn't the case. They have been developing the platform and they still continue to do so in terms of Enter.Art. They also have a dedicated team um, of developers to actually manage this going forwards. Enter is now the biggest um, NFT platform on the Binance Smart Chain. So this is great news and because that should raise more awareness to the platform as well. The good news about this is that Binance is the biggest user base, including Ethereum. You know, there's more people on Binance than there is on Ethereum, which is why Enter wanted to use the Binance Smart Chain. So those are the updates that I've got at the moment. Let's have a quick look at this blog, which is called Moving Forward to the Future. And I like that, Enter the Future. And this is addressed to holders, collectors, artists and followers. Um, NFT Art was launched six months ago by a group of people with big passion for music, art, crypto, community and technology. Today, six months after we started the journey, we have two functioning marketplaces, more than 9,000 users and almost 10,000 NFTs sold. Since the beginning, our community has been accustomed to high focus on the team and single persons related to the company. Our fast growth made that a necessity as well as a state of life. At the stage we're at, it's beneficial for the company to change our communication strategy. Addressing this and restructuring the company is what will take us to the next level, prepare us for scale and the mass market. 
Enter is the artists, collectors, community members, holders and supporters. You are the ones this project was created for and in the next weeks and months we will continue to focus on initiatives that will benefit all parts of the ecosystem. The token has always been very important to us. Moving forward, creating incentive features that will benefit the token and the holders will continue to be a high priority. You as a community continue to inspire with your ideas and feedback. As stated before, we are in need of change when everyone feels included and heard. That change is already underway. We will soon include governance and deep diver into DeFi. Governance will enable collectors, investors, artists and our community to have bigger and more direct parts in Enter's development going forward. We are also making structural changes in the team. You will be introduced to some new faces and there's moving to different positions in the company. In terms of the previous CEO, we've been on quite the journey together. We've experienced everything from being pumped by moon tubers to organised bot attacks on our server. You, the community, has been there throughout all of this. I appreciate you. At this stage we're at, it's beneficial for the company to change strategy and to make sure we can indeed reach the heights that we all strive for. We need to be more focused on what we're great at. That includes me. Preemptive details around certain strategic moves have put us and so many projects in a box. I've been in that box for six months. I didn't like it. Now I want to step out of the box and enter the future. I'm stepping down from my role as the CEO of Ento, but that doesn't mean I'm leaving the company. I'm doing this to refocus my energy and skills towards where they have most use. And that is not a CEO, but more specialist towards tasks that require my full attention as we grow our new business ventures. KA is stepping back in as acting CEO because he knows the vision technology and blockchain aspect of the project and Simon will step in as the new chairman. With his past record in building companies from the ground up, we are confident that he will excel. We are excited to step into this new chapter for Enter and to share our progress with you in the coming times. Progress updates from the team will be made every Monday going forward. Love to you all. So I thought that's a nice blog. If we have a quick look at the enter.audio platform now, you can see that this is still continuing to grow. The featured front page is changing all the time with new artists coming on board, which is good to see. Not a huge amount of new artists coming forwards at the moment. Um, we're probably around two to three weeks before we actually go live with this platform. Uh, for now, this is just really um, onboarding artists rather than allowing anyone to actually mint on here. And when that happens, it's going to be a dramatic change. There's going to be a huge increase. Um, got an auction here which is uh, ending soon so that's good that that's kicked off there also got my single on here so it's good to see that I'm still on the front page that's really appreciated in terms of exposure for myself and uh, I'm doing well with that single in terms of my uh, release for that as well and if we have a quick look at the artists page just to give you a bit of an idea of the people that have come on board we've got two four six eight ten twelve 14. We've got around 16, 17 artists maybe. Oh, we've got a second page. That's a first. <laughs> so it's, I did wonder whether it's just going to be a massive list going forwards, but there is a page too. So that will hopefully start up soon. Again, another way of navigating is via the genre section, which is good. So you can click on genres and then click on what you're interested in. So let's say as an example, chiptune, and then you'll actually see the artists that are related to chiptune going forward. There's no users there at the moment, but I'm sure there will be when it goes completely live. If we have a look at Deep House as an example, there we go, we've got one artist here. So there you have it. Let's have a quick look at Enter.Art now. So let's burn some. <laughs> it's always good when um, art is specifically around the NFT art finance token. Uh, it makes it a bit more special, I feel. And uh, we've got the same thing on here. We've got the launch pad for the people that aren't verified and we've got the gallery for people that are verified with the green ticks. Now on the audio platform that hasn't happened yet because it hasn't gotten gone live. So I imagine when they do go live, they're gonna have a launch pad section exactly the same as what they do for enter.art. Some very good artwork on here. It's nice to see that this is very much alive and well in terms of what is offering from artists for people to purchase. And uh, we can look at the recently sold items on here as well. And then we're able to have a look at the launch plan as well um, for people that haven't been verified, including myself for Enter the Art actually. So that's good. Brilliant, so there you have it. Hope you like this video, always good to catch up. I always appreciate your comments. It's fantastic to hear that this is making a difference. So I'll continue to do so as long as that happens. So really appreciate it and I'll speak to you on the next one. Thank you, bye.